What's good everybody? I'm back. You already know what it is because you clicked on the video. But before we get into the video, I want to just show you guys a better view of the setup because the last one was just like... It was just booty. Show you guys right now uh, a better view. We got the speakers right here. The, the poster. More speakers. The um, the MIDI keyboard, the stickers, the Alienware, the mic, and it's not it's not bad not bad of a setup honestly. And oh yeah, this changes colors. Voila. See so like so it changes colors and all that. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. All right, well. Let's just get on to the video, honestly. Hey, how's it going? Have you ever wondered how these talented producers, such as Wonder Girl or Eastbound, Bruh. get their sound? Have you ever just gone on YouTube and just type in how to make Wonder Girl type beats or how to make Eastbound slides and all that? And then you come across videos like this one. Pause! What is that? Yeah, I feel your pain. Don't worry, I got you. After this tutorial, you'll be sliding that bass like it's nothing, like it's nothing, like it's nothing. Like nothing. All right, today. I'm gonna show you how to make this. So you're gonna start off grabbing a dark sample or a sample that sounds cold or whatever. Uh, it's like Toronto soundish. Uh, so, either pitch it up or pitch it down. I like to do both of those. So I have one high pitch. And I have one a low pitch. Then I put that in the mixer, lower the volume, normalize it. Always normalize your samples. Any uh, any sound you're using, you're always gonna normalize it. Then EQ the low, and I EQ'd some of the highs. I EQ'd the lows to leave room for my kick and my 808, and for my drums and stuff. Then I added the, the re space. A sub bass that they like to use. All these sounds can be can be found in my kit. Right here. Only fifteen dollars. Literally has so many sounds. Okay, so all I did was that um raise the volume loop points, maximize the crossfade, and trimmed it all the way. Then onto the drums, right before the drop. The first drop, I had a 808 roll. I just rolled it out like this, half step. Control U, like that. And I added a slide right here. Like this, double click, except, and I panned it. Now for the drums, the kick, the 
just raised up the volume. Hey, wait. Bruh. Let's try that again. Hey, wait. So, like that. I think that's one third step, though. Oh no, that's one half step. I slid the bass right here. It's two notes because if you, whenever you're sliding, make sure you leave room for the slides. Because if I had it like this, it would sound like this. It just doesn't sound good. And make sure you make your slides smaller. Or not smaller, but make sure that they're small. Because the smaller the slide, the harder it's going to sound. I'm going to make another video on this to go more into detail with it. But yeah, and I panned it. And raised the velocity on the slides. Now for the snare, I just layered two snares. I pitched down this one. Now for the hi hats. Simple hi hat. I just added low, some low hi hats. I panned those. And added some rolls. Pitched down a bit. An open hat. Push that all the way down. Another open hat. Right here. I added a snare roll. I put some velocity on it. Panned it. Uh, a vocal or a vox. And some perks. And I pitched that brick down a bit and panned it as well. For the second drop, I had a high sample and a low sample. Plus, um, everything was the same except added a low, a live hi hat pattern. Put velocity into it, and I added a high uh, live hi hat loop. And for the 808, I also uh, added some things, more slides. this right here. I panned that too. Added a roll there. And yeah, that's how I got this. And honestly, just finding these samples, just go on YouTube and type in uh, Wonder Girl samples or Dark samples, Toronto samples. There's so many out there. And I just leveled the sounds out. Nothing. I EQ'd some of the lows, the unwanted frequencies out of some sounds. Other than that, the 808, all I did was bring up the volume. This is 
tuned to D-sharp. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, man. Thank you. Uh, remember to like the video and subscribe for more. I'm gonna be more, doing more of these videos and I'm gonna be doing more like, I'll make it a beat from scratch too. So yeah, peace out.